less than an hour. There's a meeting in Allegan to discuss the possibility of new tiny houses. And the meeting's being hosted by the Allegan Planning Commission, and local developers say these tiny homes could mean big money, serving as vacation retreats for those visiting West Michigan. And News Channel 3's Princess Jeanne Steverson joining us live from Allegan tonight. And Princess, you spoke with the developers. Mm -hmm. I did Jessica and Andy and they tell me that if given the green light, these tiny houses would essentially serve as luxurious tree houses to house visitors who want to visit parts of West Michigan and avoid all the hustle and bustle that sometimes the city can bring with traffic. And the developers also tell me that if they get the green light again, that these tiny houses would be not too far from here, just off of uh, South Main and Grand Street, and that they would build not just one or two units, but possibly six to eight. Joe and Debbie Leverance are a married duo who call themselves a mom and pop couple that enjoy renovating. They are the developers of Allegan's potential vacation rentals called tiny houses, which would be made to look like antique tree houses. Joe says the idea started with his two grandsons, Chase and Colin. The city has been trying to get a hotel in downtown Allegan for, God, years, and they just haven't been able to put it together. They say that there's a need in Allegan for short-term rentals mm -hmm. and so you know we want to be able to provide that to the city. The plan is for the homes to be built in this wooded area on a floodplain on the ends of South Main Street and Park Avenue. According to the developers, it's a privately owned and unused property that's been empty for nearly 60 years. The site was acquired by the city of Allegan back in the late 1950s when it became available. This after a private company first tried to buy the area and build a mobile home park, but that deal fell through the cracks. There's multinational corporations here in town that bring in clients or bring in employees from out of the country and they need a place to stay. The hospital has what they call traveling nurses, and they might be here for a couple weeks, and so they need a place to stay. Tonight, at the City of Allegan Planning Commission's meeting, the Leverances will meet with the city manager, zoning administrator, and other development officials to discuss building permits and whether or not the landscaping of tiny houses poses any threat to the environment. The representative from PCI, that's the company that handles all the code enforcement and permit applications for any construction within the city of Allegan. It's the next steps that need to be taken to further the process in getting this project off the ground. The Leverances say at the end of the day, this is a project that if given the green light would be years in the making. And if that happened, here's what the tiny houses would look like according to the PowerPoint presentation the Leverances will be showing at tonight's meeting. These are going to be tiny houses that will only house two people picture a studio size apartment you know it's like about 450 square feet so it's gonna have a nice bedroom area it's gonna be open in concept so it'll have a bedroom with a uh, queen size bed maybe a king size bed it'll have a full kitchenette with stove refrigerator microwave all that stuff and then it'll have a living room the leverances say the tiny houses would be about 10 feet off the ground and would cost guests between 150 and 200 dollars a night Coming up on News Channel 3 at 6, we'll hear from nearby neighbors who say that tiny houses could cause them a big headache. Reporting live in Allegan, Princess Johnny Steverson, News Channel 3.